Hey, my name is Mario. Welcome to another System Design and Go video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to implement unit testing for a gRPC service, specifically the Unary RPC. This is part one of two, showing you how to do unit testing. As usual, the link to the code is in the description of this video, so feel free to check that out. So we are going to be using the server, specifically because we are going to be testing the Unary RPC. So we're going to be taking the implementation of the server under the examples folder. And we are going to be using one implementation that we did before, which is specifically the one that I have right here for the user service. This implements this uh, specific gRPC service, which is the Unary RPC. Now, what we have to do in this case is to create a new folder or rather a new file called maintest.co. I want to be keeping it as a, I'm not going to be defining an under test package in this case because the type that we have right here is one of those that is uh, unexported. So I want to use it when I need to initialize the server itself that I'm going to be using for testing the client. And therefore, that way we're going to be testing the RPC method that we have right here. So what we have to do is implement the test, which is func test. Mm, if I recall correctly, will be user service. Yeah, user service get user. So with this, we're going to be defining this is the initial function. If you remember, in order to initialize a server, you need to define a listener. You need to initialize the gRPC server. You need to register that server with the service that we're going to be using. And finally, we're going to be using the service for testing. And obviously, we need to initialize a client that happens to be connecting to that server. So first, first thing first, we're going to define a new listener. And this, this is going to be using a package that is included in the gRPC uh, package under the test uh, package. It's a, it's a sub package called buffcon that define a listener. And this listen requires a buffer. And this is a local buffer that doesn't happen to be using the TCP listener that we had before, for example, the one that I have right here. So this will be equivalent to the one I'm using in the test implementation. If we go back to the example, we have the listener. We need to close that when we do a cleanup. So this is a new method that was added, if I recall correctly, in 1.13, used to clean up the uh, whatever thing we need to clean up, clean up using defer. This is equivalent to using defer, but it is a, a cleaner way to do it. So we have the listener. What we have to do next is initialize the gRPC server. For doing that, we use those, your typical new server. We call it server. And server also have a close or a stop function that we can clean up using the cleanup method that is included in the testing package. So, so far we, do, we did the two first steps that we're going to be using for testing the unary RPC. The next one will be initializing the service implementation that implements the method defined in the RPC service. And that one will be the one that we have right here, which is this type, the user service, which implements the get user method. All right. So if we go back to our test, we need to do a user service, which is a struct. We can call it SVC. And finally, we need to register that with the gRPC implementation, which will be user PB, register user server. And if you remember the implementation will be the server and which is server and the service itself. So, so far we have initialized the listener. We have created the server. We have created a service that happens to implement the methods we want to expose in via RPC. What we have to do next will be to use the RPC client and initialize the server. Let's do that. So we have to initialize the server with a method called listen. Or rather serve. Uh, so in this one, in order to not block the process of the test, we're going to be using a goroutine. So we launch the goroutine right here. And if you remember the, the implementation, it returns an error. So we do your typical error checking go error is different than nil. And in order to validate the, that the error was not present or the serve didn't fail, we just have to launch or call log. We will call serve. 
and then error. So, so far we just did everything um, that we needed for the, oh, I'm missing an argument right here, it's missing the listener, which will be the list that we instantiated above in the beginning. So, so far we initialize the listener, we initialize the server, we link the service to the server, and we are now serving or listening for connections. What comes next is the actual testing that we're going to be using the client API that was auto-generated, and we are going to be using the listener and actually connecting to the RPC service. Let me show you that. Now, if you recall in the client, in order to use or connect to the client itself, we need to initialize a new dial, which is the connection to the server that we have to do. So in this case, we're going to be doing something similar. So we, if we scroll down a little bit, this will be the actual test. And let me go up a little bit and I will show you, this is the server initialization. We're going to be doing something similar for the streaming RPCs in the second part of this video. So we'll show you that next in the second video, of course. So for test, we need to define connection and an error, and we're going to be using the gRPC dial context in this case, which is similar to the dial that we have above right here. But in this case, I want to use one with a context because I'm going to be adding a context that is going to be having a deadline and it's going to be timing out after X number of seconds. And I'm going to be doing this because I don't want my test to block forever. I want to explicitly indicate a hey, if this isn't, doesn't conclude in xyz seconds please indicate that the test fail it's a way to call out that something failed internally in our tests i'll do that next so give me a sec so if we go back to the rpc dial context we're going to be adding a context background for now we're going to be calling it the uh, use an, a name we don't worry about that one and we're going to be passing a grpc with context dialer and this is used because we need to define a dialer that is applicable to the connection that we define above which in this case will be the one in the listener which is this one so this one will be we're going to be using that one for serving and for the client so in order to do that we're going to be defining another helper so so far we're going to be let's call it the dialer for now we're going to be implementing this next don't don't know worry about it and the other option will be grpc with insecure so we are missing dialer and dialer is dialer a function that happens to be implementing a context. Uh, that's correct, incorrect. A context type and a string. And it's going to be returning an error, a net con and an error. And in this case, we'll be written the list dial. So, so far with this, if we save it, oops, this is incorrect. If we save it, now it will be adding the import that we need, which we'll, we'll, in this case was net. And that's pretty much the new thing. Now it's complaining because error and con are not being used. We're going to be using error and con for the client itself. But before doing that, let me clean up the connection. So con also has a close right here. And similar to the other cleanup that we had before, you just have to do a cleanup, a func, and we close it. All right. Now we have the connection. If there is an error, we do, let me scroll up a little bit so you can see, we do another D fatal F, which will be gRPC uh, dial context, which indicates, hey, this was, there was an error when trying to open up the connection. To, that we're going to be using for the client. Next comes the uh, actual initialization of the client. And if you remember for the client, we're going to be using the auto-generated code that we have. So we have a new user service client and it need to pass in the connection that we instan instantiated above and then client get user. We need to pass, pass in some user uh, pb get user request details, which in this case, UUID, if you remember, we can use one, two, three. Um, I'm sorry, it should be like this. This return a response and an error. If there was an error, again, we call the fatal F client get user error. And what we're going to be testing is if res UUID is different than 
one, two, three, and rest user ID. Full name is different than Mario. If I recall correctly, those were the values that we were returning in main. So if I go back to main, this is the full name, and the UUID is what value we had before, which will be UUID. Let me clean this up. Let me try again to show you. So the UUID is the value that we are sending, and full name will always be hard coded to Mario. So in this case, if I complete this, it will say, hey, fatal F. Uh, unexpected values so we can do res user now not enough parameters oh I'm missing a context background uh, and a pointer to now we compile this the compile is with insecure payload functions he dial context oops because i'm missing the parenthesis we compile this again everything seems to be working if i do a we go to examples server go test and this should be working as expected i know it looks like there is a lot of boilerplate and really the biggest part of this testing is initializing the server other than that testing is as you may imagine with the code that you typically have when you call a client as is as normally. Again, I'm not using uh, the, the test tables that we typically use when using Go. This is an example specifically, and I want to give you that as an introduction for the examples that we're going to be using the streaming RPCs in the next video, but I think this will be useful. And hopefully all of this makes sense. Let's jump into the conclusion. I will talk to you in a few seconds. And that's it. This is the first part of gRPC unit testing, specifically the boilerplate that we need for initializing the clients that then we're going to be using in our test. In part two, I will be covering all the other three steaming RPCs that we have. I will talk to you next time. Take care, stay safe, keep it up, and don't give up. See you.